Welcome back, kindergarten, to another math lesson. We've been talking about fact families, okay? Numbers that go together and stay together, even if it's addition or subtraction. And you've already practiced how to add with your number line, how to subtract with your number line, and writing the equations. Today, we're gonna see how the addition and the subtraction go together as a family. What? Yes. It's going to happen okay so let's do this let's say that we have and i can even put this like a domino let's say on this side of the domino i have four dots oops i'm gonna put it on the bottom four dots on this side i have one two dots okay well how many dots do i have all together Four is on this side, two is on this side, so four, we'll say the bigger number, four, and keep counting, five, six. So all together, the whole domino has six dots, okay? This is just like we had when we had our two parts, four and two, and they went together to make the mom of six. It's just a different way of looking at it. Four plus two equals six. So we already know one of our addition equations. So let's write that down. Four plus two equals what? What was the whole thing? Six. And we've already learned how to do the turnaround fact really fast. So now let's put the two first. Two plus four equals, well, if I have two dots and four dots, we're just turning the domino around. It's still the same number of dots. It's still six. Boop. Okay. But now let's work on writing down our subtraction facts. What if I start with my six dots and I take away one side of them? So I'm going to take away the four, those four dots. So I took away minus four equals, well, what's left over? Which, which number is left over of the family? We've already used the six and the four. Who's left? They always stay together, they're a family. Six minus four equals two. Oh. Now let's, again, it's subtraction. You always have to start with the biggest number. So we're gonna take the other side away, but we always start with the big number, six. This time, we're going to take away the other side. We already took away the four. Now we're going to cover up the other side. We're going to say minus two. Well, if I take away the other side, what's left? Who's the family member that's left? We've already used the six. We've already used the two. Now we need to put our four. 6 minus 2 equals 4. All of these equations, it's a lot. It's a lot, but you're doing a great job. Okay, All of those equations, 2 with addition, 2 plus, 2 minus, and they're using the same family members. Look, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, they're just in a different order. It's all the same family members, so we call this a fact family. These are math facts that all go together. So if you can figure out that first one, four plus two equals six, you just have to move those three numbers around to make your other facts. Ooh, okay, so let's try one where you try it on your whiteboard. Okay, so let me get a new domino. Here we go. I'm going to give you a different one and you try it on your whiteboard. Okay. So focus on the domino right now. I'm going to do Okay. 1 2 3 dots on that side and I'm going to put one dot on that side. So those are my two parts, my two sides of the domino. I've got 3 on this side one on that side. I've got a 
three part and a one part. And they're gonna go together. Now we're gonna add them all up to find out the whole thing, the mom. Okay, so let's count all our dots. So we know this is three, we already counted it. So let's say three, three, and then one more, four. So our mom, our whole number, the whole thing is four. Okay, so let's write down our first addition equation. Something plus something. We're gonna add our two parts. So three, write this on your whiteboard, three, plus one equals, what did we say it equals? Count those dots again, what does it equal? Four. Okay, now on your whiteboard underneath this, write down the turnaround fact. Make sure you write your numbers smaller, don't make them so big, Mr. Lincoln, okay? We wanna fit all of these numbers down. Underneath it, write down the turnaround fact. So we're gonna turn the domino around, boop. And now the one's gonna be on this side and the three is gonna be on this side. What is one plus three? It's the same number of dots, we just flipped it. It's the same dots. So what does it equal? Four. Now, if you're ready, try to do the subtraction. If you're not ready, stick with the addition. You're doing great. Work on your turnaround facts. But if you're ready for a challenge, let's try the subtraction. Now remember, subtraction always starts with the biggest number in the family. It starts with the whole thing, all of the dots. So for subtraction, we have to start with the four because we're gonna take away one of the sides. So let's take away minus three. So write down four minus three. We had four balloons, uh-oh, but three of them popped, bing. So how many are left? What's left? One. Okay, well, we're gonna do one more subtraction problem. So let's, subtraction, we always start with the biggest number, but this time we're gonna take away minus this side first. So we're gonna take away the one. Minus one, okay. What is four minus one? What's left? One, two, three. This is a fact family for three and one and four. Okay. Three plus one is four. Okay, so if you want to, you can draw a domino, or if you have dominoes, pick out a domino and count up one side, count up the other side, figure out how many you have all together, put that at the top, and try to write down your equations for your fact family, okay? Try it. If, it's, if this is too hard, just start with a domino and try to add one side plus the other side. Just do that one equation. But if you're ready for a challenge, Try to write all of the equations for the fact family, okay? If you're able to do it, take a picture. If you, even if you just do this first part and count up your dots, take a picture, put it on Seesaw. I wanna see your work, okay? I know you're doing a great job and we'll practice it during our conferences too, okay? Have a great week.